So, inside of this damn third dimensional reality, we basically just live in an illusion. Although this illusion seems very solid, it's always ever changing. Let's take the buildings that exist in this realm, for example. Let's take the mountains and things like that. Whether we like it or not, eventually those mountains will crumble. Eventually they will come down to pieces. Eventually those buildings we've built will come down to pieces. Probably before the mountains and things like that. Because that's probably going to happen during the time of Rag Ragnarok and things like that. Because everything in this realm, this third dimensional reality, has a set point or a set date of expiring. Just like the many existences that play out inside of this chakra the inside of this heart chakra mother gaia or whatever people like to call it doesn't matter the name it, the, the 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 fact is that we're living in the heart chakra of this being that we are in and everything has an expiry date everything has a set point of ending and a beginning so we're in this simultaneous simultaneous cycle of beginning and ending life and death yin and yang but all everything in the yang realm everything that's been externalized and everything that's that is yet to be born is actually already based on a blueprint that already exists in the yin realm the subjective realm the subconscious unconscious realm basically uh the darkness that is yet to be explored and things like that so essentially we basically live in a very very solid looking illusion i mean one day you're 10 one day you're you're, you're born you're five years old then you're 10 years old you're 15 years old 20 year old you're in, when you're in high school it seems like that time is going to last forever but we know that nothing really is forever everything has a set point of beginning and ending and when you understand this knowledge you can see how everything in this lifetime by the corporations and by the masons and by the jews and things like that is set up in such a way where they would use up your time which you're supposed to use to self-actualize and realize and review your characteristics and traits and the karmic lessons and the stuff that's been accumulating from past lifetimes whether it's bad or good it's, for, it's, it's your chance to take a look at these things and to be like hmm are these things of god of god or have i come short have i fallen down to my desires have i fallen down you know to well, one of my chakras that i'm overly abusing or overly using have i created certain energetical patterns within my energy body that is preventing me from living my best life you know some people forget how to use their throat chakra some people forget how to speak up about what's going on because they they're confused inside of their heart chakra they don't know how to how to kind of feel clearly about what's going on around them because you know we're all indoctrinated into uh basically a reptilian cult a masonic system you know a logical system um and essentially i mean I, I don't have anything against white people obviously but it's very easy for reptilians for reptilian thinking to be channeled through let's say caucasian individuals and things like that this is why a lot of them run the world right now and things like that because they understand that at the end of the day if you create some kind of structuring system some kind of uh external let's say simulation of what already goes on internally because we have computers we have the internet and all these things but we don't realize that you know a lot of these things are already inside of us and they're just really waiting to be you know brought out of us so they're creating these you'd be surprised how much medical equipment for let's say for example is just modeled after the human body and what the human body is already doing so they're selling you basically your own functionality and because we're in the solid illusion it's um and you know we get lost in the solid illusion we think this physicality is real we think when someone dies we should be grieving we should be worrying we should be going crazy we should be all wearing black and when you think about that even that's a that's a that's a ritual and things that like, who thought us that who thought us to go to a funeral and wear all black and be overcome and saddened by this heavy emotion because you know when you understand the color black you understand melanin you understand that uh you know that black is just nothing but the concentration of all colors and you know when you're in a funeral you're basically just saying hey i got this really heavy emotion this really dark emotion and i don't know how to get out of it so you know everything we do in life we're doing rituals and things like that but where do these rituals come from you know these rituals didn't really exist in the kingdom of heaven these rituals don't really exist 
in the spirit realm because in the spirit realm spirits that take on many different shapes and forms that are not stuck in the physical body based on them having a bias or a particular standpoint that they like to be at instead of us understanding that we need to start harnessing all these virtues and principles we need to start harnessing uh you know this whole reality as far as the wheel of life you know this thing that we need to accept but at the end of the day we're always going to be positioned in some position in a wheel because you know but it just plays out as a micro macro position because right now your cells are inside of you and your heart chakra that's a wheel but it plays out through a physical organ metaphysically your cells to them they almost look at like a third dimension they, they're looking at a sky almost with like the sun and the moon and all these different things because to them like your solar plexus is like a, is like a sun to them your moon is like a is like a moon and all these things and, and yeah it sounds crazy but you're really living inside of a bee you're really living inside of a snake you're really living inside of a like a, like a, like a snake that's just like how you were walking because everything is micro and macro trees are, aren't even trees think about when someone even gives you a definition of what something is so you let somebody define what that is you let somebody tell you how to look at that we don't all look at art the same way we don't all look at music the same way this is how you even develop different sounds and different artistic styles we don't even look at theater the same way this is how you even develop different genres and things like that you, we don't no one even looks at combat and fighting the same way this is how you develop different weaponries how you develop different strategies of war we don't look at logistics the same way this is how you develop different uh, logistical systems and things like that distribution methods and things like that and generally we just use the ones that are most effective because that's because that's more of a left brained out industry and things like that but all that goes to say is that we are all born within a relative position within this wheel of time and the, the, and you are managing over that virtue so you have a virtue that you are a manager of and you're training yourself to take on a bigger shape and form because within this illusion you was able to take on this form and these all these mini spirits all these mini cells that live inside of you that coexist with you that give you they energy and you give them they energy because they kind of like see you you're like in their world they're macro and you are the macro you are the overall reality so just to prove that alone i'm gonna i'm gonna put it this way when you talk badly to yourself when you hate yourself when you're being negative to yourself when you have certain traumas certain things that are passed down from your family let's say as far as um certain hatred for example like hatred of females can manifest as like breast cancer and things like that because now because when you look at the breast you talk about the fourth house you're talking about cancer you talk about the area that has to do with nurturing caring uh domestic issues home issues and that's like a feminine area in general even the house of cancer is a feminine area but just to go back earlier and say that um you know when you talk to yourself like that negatively you hate yourself whatever it is that because because everybody knows what they're dealing with internally as far as a virtue and a principle that they're trying to transmute into a better light into a new existence so when you talk badly to yourself or whatever it is that you're dealing with you're going to manifest the equivalent health issues of that and it doesn't even have to be cancer because now you're telling the cells the many expressions of you the micro cells which are just soul spirits they're having their own experience and things like that you're telling them that hey you're trash hey you suck hey you're not worth it hey you're this you're this you're that but when you talk to yourself your your speech your sound is literally transgressing based on the verbs based on the verbiage that you use based on the feelings that you create that are associated with those words or just the feeling alone that feeling is going to travel literally like a solar flare or like or it could be like a lunar flare or it could be like an like a mars root chakra aggressive flare inside of you and it can cause that particular area to develop certain problems with the tissue there because the tissue is like just the land the glands like a geographical location that these cellular beings live in and it's like and it's basically the same thing so when you talk about now everything we do in this third dimensional reality if you are a cell walking inside walking inside of this body this heart chakra this heart and we're looking at everybody else as cells look look at how many fucked up thoughts and feelings non non-functional shit 
that this being be going through all the events that happen throughout history slavery uh you know all these things all these different all the all these uh, major acts of violence that that show you alone that this being that we're in is not harmonious amongst the right brain and the left brain and the yin and yang now that sounds fucking crazy right but you have to look at it like one group of people is being dominated by another group of people that are very logical about their approach therefore they may not have as much empathy or not not talking about the whole race because you know it's certain cults that develop out of certain cultures that start running things from behind the scenes and you know they just guide the population but based on whatever group of people that can take on that shape and form or that ideal can be conjured through much more easily that is the group of people that, that cult and that culture is going to use at that particular time to do that now if you're an extremely left brain out person and you forget about your right brain you're gonna see you're gonna develop certain issues in your in your in your body and in your mind and your in your actual life because now what you're doing is you're being non-harmonious you're not actually living in harmony with the creator with source with god so you're gonna see that you're living a disharmonious life now when you look outside of you and you see everything you see all these events going on in history you see all the things that are going on in tv that lets you know that there's no way that you're living inside of a harmonious beat. You're actually living in a very disharmonious, very fucked up uh, being. And you're developing your spaceship, you're developing yourself, hopefully to be a harmonious, hopefully to be, uh, you know, hopefully to be harmonious because you don't want to be overly left brain, overly right brain. Because what, what, what what's that's going to do is, you're gonna have to get you're gonna get used by one of these energy signatures by one of these beings and you're gonna get basically used for their purposes because you don't know how to be harmonious you don't know how to look at a situation from a full circle you look at a situation from a bias standpoint and you move from a bias standpoint okay one black person killed a white person okay therefore all black people must be bad that is a unbiased that is a biased point of view and if you get your whole race to agree on that general consensus, we will see a whole genocide being carried out. But again, based on the shadow government understanding this and based on these cults understanding this, you know, it's certain things that they're going to be able to get away with based on us being on a very low vibration and us not seeing the totality of reality, aka that's most people not developing nine chi. That's most people not developing a full understanding of, of reality, understanding what is actually love. That you're talking about Venus. What is actually hate, aggression, and transformation? We're talking about Mars. So all these are just virtues and principles that we harness. But if we don't learn about them, about these fucking uh, planets and shit like that, some people call them Anunnaki's, whatever. But I really, I really like to think that you know, what what. It's all just existences are playing on a different level. That's really all it is. Mars, it's just like the, the dick area of this being we're in. You know, the sun is like the solar plexus of this being, its own individual idea of itself and things like that. You know, when you look at these things outside of you, again, you see these things inside of you. And it's not just some light bulb in the sky. Like it's literally a representation of one of your organs, of one of your realms, of one of your realities, of one of your mentalities that correspond and exist, um, how do you call it, simultaneously. Because these dimensions don't exist separately, they exist simultaneously. You're just an individual spirit, an individual expression, expression transgression, transgressing those micro and macro realms of realities and things like that. And as you level up, instead of leveling up in a video game, for example, you're supposed to level up in real life and start to understand what is reality so you don't get caught up in this being's mentality or the traps that these motherfuckers is setting. Because cause a, a lot of spirits in here have so much blood in their hands, they know they're not going nowhere anytime soon. So it's like they just like set up shop type of shit. And they're like, okay, you know what? Instead of us leaving this dimension, let's just like have our descendants suck the blood out of this dimension and we can still be up there. It's really weird because it's like, it's like they carved 
a pathway of spirits so their descendants can come back here through the through a bloodline but they can still reap the energy because it's a construct that's the thing so when you talk about the matrix it's a construct and what happened when you saw the movie the matrix right what happened when you saw the movie the matrix you saw a bunch of humans being used as batteries now don't take that seriously and start to think like oh okay that means that it's going to be a robot using me as a battery no what that means is you living in accordance to their system which they have set up before you and made you agree to it and based on you being born and based on that being the general consensus you're going to follow that system and make that uh a regular normal thing like for real shit if you always grew up poor if you saw your mother and father being abused if you saw a bunch of shit you would eventually think that that shit is normal but that's the reality that they set up for you that's the geometric cube that you have to find your way out of because so long as that you give up your mind and your mind is not just the shit that's in your head your mind is the shit that's all over your body your muscular system is a mind your skeletal system is a mind your dick and pussy is a mind your gut area is a mind otherwise there's no way you start you would say shit like oh i got a gut feeling and this shit must be right if i follow my gut feeling because you're basically telling me that your gut is processing not only information in the form of food that you're eating you're also telling me that your gut is processing information that is interpreting from the outside realm and reality so therefore there must be more to what these organs of ours are capable of doing not just processing food not just pissing and shitting those are third dimensional functions but those are just representations of what we do metaphysically in the first place because i guarantee you even if you transcend this physical body you will still have a dick and a pussy because how the fuck are you gonna get born out there you're gonna have to you have to get you're gonna, you're gonna get get born through some fucking metaphysical woo you have to get born through some metaphysical lane you're gonna have to have some form of reproduction and things like that and you know you see worms here doing mitosis and splitting like all types of shit so there's all types of ways that beings replicate themselves and it just become like an idea that a group of spirits agree on and that's how these group of spirits start to move and things like that and they have their own soul group and they have their own you know energy signature and that's just how they move but see the, the more you understand how you move in this third dimension you start to be able to correspond it to how you move in the fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth dimension because this wasn't your first existence like this is really just some low vibrational shit that the only way you can agree with is if you was in a, some kind of fucking desire some kind of burning fire and you was like yeah brother praise jesus this seems like a good idea it's, <laughs> it's, it's it, it doesn't seem like a good idea anymore for all of us the spirits that agreed to come into this dimension. it don't seem like it no more don't seem like a good idea to me no more <laughs> because literally we would just got took taken over and there's no way that you would be in a physical body if you did not fall short and come short on something including myself this is why instead of you getting caught up in your own relative position and thinking and thinking and feeling about how you know because you should always do what's right for you you should always avoid what's wrong for you so you don't fuck your mind up so you don't you know create karma for yourself because you can't move how other people move you shouldn't do that that's not your vibratory rate that's not what you was doing before you dropped into this third dimension so just like a video clip that needs to be edited there's certain sounds that you was making which correspond to things that habits things like that you should do in the third dimension that need to be kind of reviewed so you don't carry that with you because there's a lot of spirits that stay in purgatory that come back into this dimension based on not being able to deal or let go and attach to new things that they're supposed to. So they end up coming back here with heavier baggages and heavier with heavier loads. And hopefully you're not one of those people because then it's like you just signed up for that program. And what I'm telling you is you don't need to sign up for that program any longer. Now you know that reality is up just an illusion that generally creates confusion because you got a soul group here that already set up shop and they ain't planning on letting you go because if you go 
then life will kind of seem to exist cease to exist on this planet because some people say we came from mars and that and the information on planet mars traveled to earth some people some people will tell you that we came on capsules some will tell you we came on spaceships all that shit is bullshitness we didn't come on no spaceships nothing like that then our our very information traveled here as far as literally like a fluid as far as literally like a solar flare we all literally traveled here as a group of spirits and kind of like set up shop and we probably do that for a long time we probably do that for bear we probably do that we probably do that so much we probably, we probably did that so many times already so yeah man this reality is a reality is just an illusion don't get caught up so much in reality and just work on your fucking mentality because you know what i'm saying this 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 goddamn body right here your arms head arms arms legs legs you know what i'm saying we just created that shit we just created that shit and, and we're gonna create this shit somewhere else it don't gotta be a humanoid body though it could be some whole new type of shit that no one ever have, ever have, has ever seen so that's gonna be up to you to decide now whether you're going to ascend this reality with your mentality or you're gonna get attached to your physicality because you know a lot of people smoke cigarettes let's say for example to be able to deal with their mind which is with their just which is their their first and second because you already graduated from the first and second dimension for you to be on the third dimension but you still harness all these things simultaneously to even have a reality because again for you to even create a body like this you're looking out there at what's going on out there so when we talk about when we talk about the sagittarius arm the center of the universe all these different arms that nasa be talking about yeah you're just copying and mimicking the shape and form of this being because you're looking out there just like how your cells look up at you and want to take on your shape and form as far as an identity and they got like different identities but it's like it's it's different characters within you that have different alignments and creates different types of product because how your biology works is not the same way how other people's biology work although we look the same it's still different you know what i'm saying like it's still different like that's why we develop different diseases and things like that's why we develop different uh temperaments in these organs and shit like that so yeah man i'm not gonna hold you guys for long make sure y'all understand that shit because that's just gonna be very very important going forward and it's gonna be some of the material that we're gonna be diving deeper into in the future as well love y'all appreciate y'all ain't not much you can do about it real fucking shit